verses from the Gospel of Mark. This is just after the resurrection. Jesus has met with his disciples, and before he's taken up, he's explaining a few things about their future mission, what they're supposed to do. This is what he said to them. Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. We have two boys here who have come to know Jesus as their personal savior, as their best friend forever, as they call And they want to publicly profess their faith in him and their union with him. They want you to know, and the whole world, that Jesus is their savior. They believe in him with all their hearts. As I was explaining earlier to these two boys, what we do here is so fit for Easter morning. Because the water of baptism represents the cave in which Jesus was buried when he was dead. And so we, what we do when we baptize people is we bury them with Jesus in his cave, in his death. People who are being baptized profess that they have become one with Jesus in his death and resurrection. The Bible says the penalty for sin, there's only one, death, even for the smallest infraction. But God loved us so much he didn't want us to die. So he sent his son, Jesus, to die in our place. To pay for all the wrong things you and I have done. And if we believe in him and are joined in him, glued to him, we profess that in baptism by being buried with him in his cave. And then coming out of the cave just like he did, because he did. And because he did, we, and he lives forever, so shall we. We're joined with him forever. And the first boy we have to come forward is Reverend Mitchell, and his grandfather was telling me that he is sixth generation to be baptized in this church. How's that for faithfulness? Faithfully passing on the faith of our fathers and mothers. I'm so proud to have Reverend come here forward this morning. Thank you. 